The Palaszczuk government has admitted the LNP's Vlad laws were a deterrent to outlaw motorcycle gangs. But the Premier insists her revised laws will put more criminals behind bars. Here's Tegan George. Queensland's controversial Vlad laws are dead in the water, but police are continuing to wage a war against bikies. And I've recommended there be a significant transition phase. Task Force Maxima arresting a patched vice president of the Nomads after the 23-year-old allegedly punched a taxi driver in the face in February. The Attorney General concedes the Newman laws have served a purpose. They were a good deterrent and we don't deny that. But if you're going to have a big stick, every now and then you have to show that you're going to use it and it works. Which is why the Act will be repealed and replaced by a new suite of laws to tackle organised crime. The proposals, I think, uh, will give us even stronger legislation than what we've had in the past. I want to see these criminals go to jail and we have not seen that happen under the current laws. The opposition not buying the Premier's tough talk on crime. Today uh, they stood in front of a tank for heaven's sake and appeared to talk tough on terrorism. Tomorrow they'll be talking tough about you know, one kid stealing another kid's tuck shop money. The union has raised concerns about changes to anti-association laws which could allow bikies without convictions to once again meet and ride together. So we're going to have uh, police not enforcing uh, laws against criminal gangs but we'll have police uh, providing escorts to criminal gangs as they travel on their poker runs. Police are like kids in a lolly shop. The more powers you give them, the more powers they want. Civil libertarians are against introducing control orders which were brought in by former Prime Minister John Howard after September 11 to monitor terrorists. We will be having control orders and they will work. The new laws will be introduced by August. But the government should not even attempt to implement it lock, stock and barrel. If it does, it'll be a tough sell getting it through the hung parliament. Tegan George, 10 Eyewitness News. And the state government has handed police more powers when dealing with terrorism and public emergencies. New laws will make it illegal to refuse to provide information sought by police or to offer false information. They'll also extend the powers of police to search and seize vehicles in a terrorist emergency area. We know that uh, the threat of uh, terrorism is real. We've seen incidents that have occurred overseas. The changes bring Queensland into line with other states.